We're at the range today, and we're about to find out if the work we did bedding my Winchester Model 70 featherweight replacement stock is going to pay off. So let's get set up and see what sort of accuracy we can get from this rifle. We are set up and ready to go now, and I want to apologize if I sound all stopped up and miserable. It's because I am. I've got a cold and it's kicking my butt. Probably shouldn't even be out here. But I really can't wait to see what kind of results we're getting from the bedding job. Okay, with that said, it's something I do need to keep an eye on. When we did the bedding job last time, I put several wraps of electrical tape around the barrel to keep it centered in the barrel channel and to give us that clearance so that the barrel would be free floated. And this stock was made with that in mind. All right, so the clearance was already designed into the channel. Well, apparently I didn't put the electrical tape far enough down on the fore end, and it was touching on the fore end, and I had to remove some material with sandpaper and a dial from the channel here to get that clearance. All right, well, I didn't want to remove any more material than I had to, so I only about 10 thousandths of clearance there on the bottom. I want to watch this really closely as we're shooting though after it really starts to settle in after a few shots to make sure we maintain that clearance. Okay, so that's just something to keep an eye on and something for me to keep in mind next time. I should have put that, the tape just a little bit further down and that would have eliminated that potential issue. Okay, now with that said, let's get to the shooting and see what we've got. For our load, I'm using my hunting load for this rifle, which is a 145 grain Spear Hot Core. And normally I use H4350 on my powder, but these just happen to be IMR4350 on the powder. Both powders work great. I've had better velocities with the H4350, but these just happen to be the IMR. So let's see what we get here. And I did have to bore sight the scope since I took it off, put it back on. So this first shot's just to see if we're even on paper. Okay, made my adjustments. Now let's see if we're not a little closer to the bullseye. It looks to be settling in, and I figured the first group was going to be a little loose with the scope and the bedding and everything just settling back in after getting it all back together. That second group is going to tell us what we need to know. And it looks like I still need to come up a couple of inches on height. Now we're going to give that seven miles or a moment for the barrel to cool, and while it's cooling, we're going to check this XTR featherweight and 257 Roberts. Okay, with this one, the action was bedded, but the barrel was not free floated. And I wasn't going to free float the barrel until I did some more load testing, but I decided to go ahead and just go ahead and free float the barrel. So it's free floated, and just like with Sub Miles, or I am really close on my clearances with this one. What XTR stood for was extra. And what Winchester did when they came out to XTRs was they really stepped it up on the bluing and the fit and finish of the rifle. Well, the fitting to the stock was just done exceptionally well. And I didn't want to go in here and just go sanding and removing material and having all kind of large gaps between the barrel and the stock. So it is close, but we're going to try it right now. See where it's at. I've got one or two spots in here that I might have to relieve a little more material, but I don't want to remove any more than is absolutely necessary for us to get the accuracy I'm looking for out of this rifle. And I'm hoping this does make a difference on our accuracy. We'll get a few rounds through here and find out. And 
I'm also shooting my hunting load on this one. I'm not using the heavier bullets, the 117s or 120 grain bullets, but I'm using the 100 grain spear hot core. That was the best load I had found for this rifle, so let's try this one real quick and see what we're getting. I have no idea where those bullets landed, so let's walk down there and see what we've got. And it appears we still have some work to do on that 257 Robert. I just had no idea where I was hitting a 2x7 power scope, but 7 power just is not enough to see those little bitty bullet holes. Alright, let's start. Now I'll check that barrel channel too, and see where we're at on clearance with it having heated up from a few shots. On the seven miles, or let's, let's get some shots through here and see what we've got now. Okay, that wasn't looking good at all, so let's check and see what we're getting with this barrel channel, what kind of clearance we've got right now. Now that the barrel's heated up from a few shots. We'll go with two bills to start with. My Federal Reserve Legal Tender Feeler Gauge is here. Yep, we're hitting. Right here. Definitely not getting for it. Okay, I know on this and I've got to add a little more clearance. Alright, so that's where we're at with seven miles. Or now let me get that XTR 257 Roberts out. Let's fire another group through it, check it, see what we're getting. And check the clearance on it, because that was not the greatest group, which I probably need to do my load testing all over again for that rifle. But still, with the size of group we saw from it, I'm I'm guessing we've got a few clearance issues there as well. Right now let's check this barrel channel on this one and just see what we're getting. A little snug, not bad, but. I, need, I do need to remove just a little bit more material. Right in this area here. Okay, not the results I was hoping for, but that's okay. The only way I was gonna know what I have is to come out here and shoot them and see. And then check the barrels after they warmed up and see if we had any high spots left and we do and for me opening up a barrel channel is kind of like fitting an action to a stop it's remove a little material check it and see remove a little material ease up on it. i don't want to remove any more material than is absolutely necessary so i'll get these back to the shop get that material removed and We'll get back out here next week and see if that doesn't make a world of difference on these two rifles. God bless. Y'all have a great day.